Hi, my name is Jennifer Terry. I make Philippine travel updates. In this video, we will answer the biggest question. Who can enter the Philippines? In Filipino, sidong pwedeng pumasok sa Pilipinas? We have to know on who is allowed so that you don't waste your time on buying tickets or making travel plans or making travel plans if hindi ka naman allowed. And it will give reassurance to others then na uuwi or those who will be traveling soon to the Philippines. So to find out whether you are allowed to enter the Philippines, the determining factor is where is your country of origin? So where are you coming from 14 days before arriving in the Philippines? Sang ang bansa po kayo manggagaling? So because there are two lists in the Philippines currently, yellow and red. So yellow, you can enter the Philippines for under certain conditions. And then red, you cannot enter the Philippines. Bawal pumasok. So countries under the red list is South Africa, Botswana, Namibia, Zimbabwe, Lesotho, Eswatini, Mozambique, Austria, Czech Republic, Hungary, the Netherlands, Switzerland, Belgium, and Italy. If you are from these countries, any of these countries, vaccinated or not, it doesn't matter. You cannot enter the Philippines. There are exemptions though. If you are a Filipino citizen from a red country, the only way na makakauwi ka ay through government or non-government repatriation. Or pwede din bayanihan flight. Pero regular commercial flight, hindi po pwede. That is why if there is no repatriation or bayanihan flight in your red country, then coordinate, contact the Philippine Embassy if you have an urgent need po na umuwi sa Pilipinas. So this restriction is only for red list country. Sa mga Pilipinong hindi manggagaling sa red, so kung wala sa lista yung country ninyo, wala dito, automatic it's yellow. Pag yellow, pwedeng-pwedeng umuwi, basta Pinoy. Walang restriction, kahit anong flight pwede. Kahit commercial flight. Kahit sumakay ka lang sa puwet ng aeroplano, pwede ka pa rin pumasok sa Pilipinas, basta galing sa yellow country. And reminder, for foreign passport holders, um, if you are a foreigner from red country, you cannot enter the Philippines. Same with former Filipinos, foreign spouse, foreign children, balikbayans, you cannot enter. Whatever visa you have, if you're from a red country, you cannot, un you cannot enter the Philippines. But from a yellow country, yes, you can enter if you're balikbayan or a foreigner with visa. For now, green list is still suspended until December 15. While for those who have transit or layover in any of these red countries, do not worry, you're not covered by the travel restriction. You can still enter the Philippines and undergo the yellow protocol of quarantine, which we'll talk about later, so stay tuned. Before we proceed, please know that the reopening to foreign tourists from green list is suspended. So I want to emphasize this. The Philippines is closed to foreign tourists. We have been closed since March 2020. The 30 days visa upon arrival is suspended. Only foreigners with valid and existing visa can enter the Philippines. And no new visa is given to foreigners whose purpose to enter is only uh, visiting for tourism. No, we're only issuing visas for immediate families of Filipinos foreign workers and um, special purposes if you have an urgent need to travel here whether that's business medical or family reasons very special cases if you want to retire in the philippines you want to apply for an srrv then i would suggest contact the philippine retirement agency so in summary filipino citizens balik bayans former filipinos and their family, so their foreign spouse or foreign children of Filipinos traveling with them can enter the Philippines. So when I talk about former Filipinos, they are Filipinos who were born in the Philippines as Filipino citizens. Or they have been naturalized as foreign citizens abroad. The last thing is foreigners with valid and existing visa. So now that we have identified who is allowed, let's go with the immigration requirements. Wait there. Before we continue guys, I'm feeling hungry. Well, I'm gonna go get myself a box of Japanese snacks. Yay! Introducing the sponsor of this video, Bukso! For those of you who are not aware, Bukso is a premium Japanese snacks box subscription service that delivers original Japanese snacks and tea pairings. Yes guys, this box came straight from Japan with a Japanese address in it. And what's exciting is that 
um, you get in book so you don't get uh, the same snacks every month every month there's a different theme for the first time you will receive the moon festival well for this month I received Hokkaido holiday so there is a booklet that explains all the snacks it tells you whether the snack is vegetarian if it has nuts so for those with allergies yeah you're safe here and it's really interesting because there's a lot of it there's a lot of it so it's very easy to share and trust me if you share this with friends or families they will appreciate it and it has all different flavors it's free shipping and wait there there's more do you want to win a free ticket to japan well use my code jennifer10 and link to become eligible to win the giveaway by subscribing to bookso my code will not only give you a chance to win a free ticket but it will give you 10 percent off or save up to 47 dollars so don't miss out on this unique opportunity available for anyone who subscribes until December 31. Yep, December 31, remember the date. So thank you Buksu for sponsoring this video and you guys go ahead, try it. So for dual Filipino citizens, Filipinos holding two citizenships, if you have a Philippine passport then that's enough for you to enter the Philippines. If you don't have a Philippine passport, bring your foreign passport with either your reacquisition or retention certificate of Filipino citizenship or an identification certificate while for Filipinos born overseas no Filipinos born overseas if you only have a report of birth sorry that's not enough you are a Filipino citizen yes you are but the report of birth cannot be used as a travel document to enter the Philippines so if you are a Filipino born overseas you must either have a Philippine passport or a birth certificate a Philippine birth certificate or you can also just travel together with your Filipino parent to the Philippines. Next up is former Filipino citizens. Yeah, the Filipinos who have been naturalized as foreign citizens abroad, they are no longer Filipino citizens, but they can enter the Philippines. They are a national of a non-visa required country. So foreign passport with either old Philippine passport or Philippine birth certificate. So the Philippine passport, it can be old, expired, it can be 20 years old, it doesn't matter as long as it's a Philippine passport. It's a proof that you are a former Filipino citizen. Well, there are former Filipinos who argue and don't think, oh, I can speak Filipino, I look Filipino, my, my, my passport says I was born in the Philippines, that should be enough. Well, there are Filipinos, former Filipinos, who were offloaded from their flight because they didn't have um, the Philippine passport or Philippine birth certificate so it's your choice to take your chance but this is the requirement either old Filipino passport or pwede ding Philippine birth certificate next up foreign parents they can enter the Philippines but they cannot avail balik bayan program or visa upon arrival they must apply for a visa prior to traveling to the Philippines Okay, so you need to apply for a visa. You're not covered by Balikbayan program. E even if you're traveling with your Filipino child or even if you're traveling with your Filipino fiance, the mother or the father of your Filipino child, it doesn't matter. You're not covered by the visa upon arrival Balikbayan privilege. You need to apply for a visa prior to traveling. Next up is foreign spouse or children or parents of Filipinos or former Filipinos not traveling together. So let's say you're married to a Filipina but she's in the Philippines, you are in the US and you want to enter the Philippines, you need to apply for a visa. The marriage certificate alone is not enough. Please apply for a visa prior to traveling to the Philippines. That's 9A visa and a lot of foreigners have applied for that visa already and entered the philippines it's nothing new please contact the philippine embassy or visit the website for the requirements now for other types of visas just bring your valid visa and if your src has already expired it's okay you can pay for it upon arrival in the philippines if you have been stuck overseas for so long and all types of visa all types of Philippine visa that are valid and existing can be used to enter the Philippines. SRRVs don't need DFA exemption. 9A visa holders who are immediate families of Filipinos don't need DFA exemption. No need for EED. Okay, if you are an immediate family of a Filipino. Um, EED is only needed if you are holding a 9A visa and you are not uh, a parent or a spouse or a child of a Filipino 
For example, you're a businessman who will be entering the Philippines on a 9A visa, you need an EED or an entry exemption. For example, you are an SRRV applicant, but your visa is not yet issued, you, are not, you have 9A visa, you also need an EED. Okay, now I will answer most common questions by Balik Bayans and foreigners. Is vaccination, is vaccination required for entry to the Philippines? No, it's not required. Being fully vaccinated only gives you shorter quarantine, but it's not required. You can still enter unvaccinated. Next is, is a negative test result required? Yes, the Philippine government requires all passengers to carry a negative RT-PCR test result 72 hours within departure. Again, it's required RT-PCR test result for all passengers vaccinated or not. Whether you're coming from yellow list or green list or red list, you need a negative test result. Next question, is there quarantine upon arrival? Yes, there is. Even if you're fully vaccinated, you still need to quarantine. The quarantine protocol is this, fully vaccinated, six days. If you're unvaccinated or partially vaccinated, eight days quarantine. I am a Filipino, but I have been naturalized as a foreign citizen. Can I enter? Yes, if you are coming from a non-visa required country. For example, US, Canada, Australia, most Europe countries, Japan, South Korea, yan. Many countries are non-visa required, so pwede po kayong pumasok. Dalhin nyo lang yung old Philippine passport nyo or yung birth certificate. If you don't have any of those, you can request for a Philippine birth certificate po online. Pwede na lang pong ipadala ng kapamilya ninyo. Next is, I am in a serious relationship with a Filipina. I want to marry her. Can I get a visa and enter? No. Sorry, visas are only issued to married couples or those with children in the Philippines. But um, foreign fiancés are considered as tourists and tourists are still not allowed. Next is, I am a foreigner married to a Filipina. Can I enter? Yes, you can enter. Apply for a visa at the Philippine Embassy. If you're traveling alone, if you're traveling with your Filipina spouse, then no need to apply for a visa. If you're coming from a non-visa required country. I am a foreigner and I have a Filipino child. Can I enter the Philippines? Yes, you just need to apply for a visa at the Philippine Embassy. That's pretty much it. And when you're traveling to the Philippines, please know that you cover your own expenses. So hotels, um, COVID tests, you need to pay for it. So please bring money. And you need to book for a hotel in advance prior to arriving in the Philippines. A quarantine hotel that is accredited by the government. For the list, visit the description box. And um, don't forget to register for One Health Pass 24 hours before departure. You can upload your vaccination certificate and negative test result there. That's about, that's really everything that you need to know when traveling to the Philippines. I have more travel guides in this playlist. You can visit this playlist. Most of my videos are in English, so there you go. I'll see you again with another travel update. I hope this video helped you in traveling to the Philippines. If you did, please like this video and share it to anyone who will be traveling soon. Stay safe and God bless. See you here in the Philippines. <laughs> Bye!